Since finding out about ChatGPT late last year, I was hooked. However, I had a super interesting experience with ChatGPT yesterday, which almost changed my mind about ChatGPT. This is what happened. I tried to ask ChatGPT to write me an Excel macro. Why? Because it can and because I'm a bit rusty. Mm. So I decided to put it to a test run and ask ChatGPT to write me an Excel VBA macro that can color the sheet in Excel in alternating colors, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. And I experienced something super unusual. For a while, I thought ChatGPT was so stupid as it kept on making mistakes. But then when I was about to give up, then it started doing something unexpected. Let me show you what happened during my interaction with ChatGPT yesterday by showing you my chat history in my ChatGPT account. I want to show you my chat history from yesterday. I asked ChatGPT to create an Excel macro that can color the sheets with alternating color, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, etc. And then this is what it says. Here is a sample of a macro that will alternate the color of the sheets in an Excel workbook. And then it wrote something and then it says to use this macro, paste it into Visual Basic and run it. And then the sheet will be colored in the following pattern, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, etc. And then there is some pointers that it will only work in Excel, etc. And out of curiosity, I asked, what does mod mean? And then it says mod is an operator that returns the remainder of a division operation. Well, thank you very much for teaching me about mod. I think I now understand. I think I probably have studied about this long, long time ago in high school. Haven't used it for a long time in day-to-day -day life, but maybe from now on I will, thanks to ChatGPT. Now that I understand mod, let's copy the code. And then let's put it into our Excel file. So this is our Excel file. I have sheets one until sheets 20. I want to color this red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, etc. And let's paste it, alternate F11, put the macro there, then run. And then let's see what happened. Red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, green. Okay, that's not exactly what I want, which is why I say in here, the result of the previous macro was wrong. And then ChatGPT is so nice and polite. It says, I apologize for the error of the previous macro and then give me a new macro. And then I, of course, copy it and then put it into my Excel VBA and then run it and then Oops, it's still wrong again. <sighs> I was starting to feel a little bit disappointed at that time. So what I did was I said, it is still incorrect. And then look at that. It is so nice. It says, I apologize for the error. Here is another corrected version that should work. By this time, I am feeling unsure if things will work, but I copy the code anyway and then put it into our thing and then run it. And then, well, it's still not quite there because I need to be red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. So by that time, I'm thinking, is he misunderstanding what I want? So. Well, in here, it actually says that the macro will color the sheets in the following pattern, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. So maybe it doesn't really understand mod or how to apply mod properly. So I then say it is still incorrect. And then it says, I apologize again for the error. And then here is a corrected version that should work as intended, it says. And um, uh, I tried it again, copy it, and then put it in, run it, and oops, that is still wrong. What is that? Red, red, green, green. I want red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. What's wrong, chat GPT? Are you sleepy? That's what I was thinking yesterday. Now, interestingly though, in this description underneath that, it says this macro will color the sheets in the following pattern, red, red, green, green. So it's kind of predicted that it will generate that. I don't know where the misunderstanding come from. I want red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. 
So at that time, I was thinking, ah, uh, should I give up or should I try something? Should I give it a pointer? So at that time, I have decided to say, can you tweak the VBA macro so that it first generate or create an array that contains three set of values, one for red, two for yellow, and three for greens. So I'm giving it a pointer. And then this is what it says. Certainly, here is a revised version of the macro. Ooh, now I understand that a little bit more. And then I hit copy and then try it. Put it in here and then run it and voila, finally, 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 it is a success. And I said, thank you. And then it says, you're welcome, uh, blah, 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 which is good. And then I decided to test whether ChatGPT can apply the previous knowledge to something else. This time around, I said, create an Excel VBA macro that can color the sheets with alternating color, red, yellow, green, blue, red, yellow, green, blue, etc. And then this is what it gave me. It is smart enough to recycle the previous code and then expand it with number four, which has blue. Huh, I'm thinking, amazing, amazing. So, but before that, let's test it. Put it in here. Run it. And look at that. It works. So, towards the end, I'm thinking, ah. Oh, this has been a roller coaster, right? At the beginning, I'm thinking maybe it doesn't work, but now I change my mind. Maybe it can work because it remembers and it can apply the new learning. So what I found most impressive about ChatGPT is that ever since my experience yesterday witnessing ChatGPT making mistakes, it doesn't repeat the same mistakes again. It remembers and learn from its mistake and become a smarter human being in the process. Oops, I mean a smarter artificial intelligence being.